Is there no Lockie? So they're off and racing in the driver's in the driver's uh, pony trot event. These have been uh, auctioned off, and we've got Matty Ray on Milkshake, having a tough job to keep it uh, balanced up. Little Apache quickly closing in, and the one that's cruising up behind them is Bonsai. Josh Duggan sitting very quietly. Not much aerodynamics there with uh, Big Josh as. Uh, Sitting up very high over the top, but uh, is about to peel to the outside. Now, coming out of the pack, we've got uh, JB Sparkle. And trying to find a needle-like gap there was uh, James Herbertson. He's, uh, he's in a hurry. He's got to get back, I think, to the stewards' room. They want to talk to him. But uh, he's charged through the gap there, and he's starting to come very quickly, hunting the gaps on Little Blue. And Mick Bellman, one of the Pacing for Pink ambassadors, is getting soul charging home down the outside. And well back was uh, Trev Muir with Blaze. And... The cameraman is at the back of the field there, Oprah with Paul Campbell, but coming up the straight, 50 metres to go, and Duggan on Bonsai has taken the lead, but there's some swoopers, Little Blue galloped. It's got the lean going, Herbie, and Sol got some interference. Well, galloping over the line is Little Blue for James Herbertson. I think the stewards will be required here. Is this a pony gallops race or a pony trot race? They're certainly setting an example, the big drivers. Uh, Bellman on Seoul might have grabbed second from Bonsai, and they were followed by Blaze and, well, uh, Oprah, I thought it was only there just to go through the camera. Come back to us if you want, mate. But Paul Campbell couldn't help himself to get a bit serious, got amongst the action with JB Sparkle, Little Apache, and uh, out in front early on, Milkshake, but ran out of gas okay. and ran into the back of the field. Now, Nikita, the, the, <laughs> there should be a steward's there. inquiry <laughs> into this. Mickey Bellman, I've sponsored him for the day. I'm going to claim it as we're watching the replay. Josh Duggan <laughs> thinks he's got it shot to bits. Herbie's galloping and gaining ground. Mickey Bellman's been checked. Checked. Gets back trotting. Drops the leg. Herbie's galloping. <laughs> Mickey Bellman is within a length and he gallops over the line as well. Yeah, there I'm was, not sure. There what was happens. plenty going there, and I think the stewards are going to be in for a very, uh, very late night, Toby, going off that because um, it could be a few fines handed out as well. <laughs> but look, James, James Herbertson did go for the line first, did go over in a gallop, so um, we'll have to wait and see whether the all clear is given there. But um, that was uh, good fun. And the disappointment or the. Paul Campbell, he was all chat early. He was going to go along and uh, and interview people along the way. He couldn't keep up. He was out the back and tailed off the entire the entire way. So uh, I don't know how many interviews Paul would have uh, got done there because he had no one in sight. They're all <laughs> far ahead. Well, I could have I could have told you that <laughs> Paul Campbell. He couldn't run a farm. He has, knows nothing about steers. They've come back to scale. I don't think it really matters who won Nikita. No. It was a lot of fun between the drivers. Stacey Towers is just about to walk past. I don't think she even knows who won. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, Stacey, they're all back to scale here. I know it doesn't matter, but... They're, they're Great pictures there too, Tate. <laughs> it is actually, isn't it? With the, with the kids and the adult drivers. I don't think it really matters who won, but we'll be talking about this for probably six months. Herbie galloped across the line. In my eyes, Mick Bellman won the race. Oh, a biased set of eyes, I will say. C could, I could be coming <laughs> from a biased opinion there. Uh, that can be alleged. But, no, nah, Mick Bellman's the winner for my liking. Uh, Josh Duggan, he'll make the case that both Bellman mm -hmm. and uh, yep, Herbertson could see a protest. Uh, yeah. galloped across the line. So Josh Duggan will probably be claiming the win. But it looked like he galloped across the line too. So whoever ran fourth, I don't even know who that was. <laughs> Well, Could have been Paul Campbell after all that, but no, no, uh, no, no, no. no that was uh, that was fantastic to see, wasn't it? And how about the the, the sprint on Little Blue with her? The, he flashed home late. He <laughs> did, but he was half galloping. Her, Herb <laughs> was trying. I'll give him that. He was trying a hundred percent. And I think if anyone, any young kid, any pony trotting kid was watching that, I think first and foremost they should be getting their horse to just trot to the line <laughs> safely and not trying to win the race at all cost. I think it's best that they do uh, trot safely all the way to the line first. Nikita setting a poor example, some of those uh, adult senior drivers, but <laughs> all in the name of a bit of fun and uh, terrific for them. Uh, the money raised there, Nikita, be, would be well in excess of $1,500. I haven't had a chance to quickly add it up, but uh, yeah, wonderful.
successful scenes here at Shepparton, and this is something that I think will be an annual event from now on. It looked like a lot of fun. Absolutely, no, fantastic. And as you mentioned, all that money going straight to the fundraising cause, um, which everyone's working uh, very hard on today. Raffle tickets have been sold. There's a great crowd in here, Toby, so we can see some of those uh, in the bottom of your screen there, some of the raffle prizes. So, uh, look, what a fantastic day. The drivers will be making their way off the track shortly, I'm sure, as uh, we look forward to the next race. But, um, yeah, that was a, uh, a spectacle, that's for sure. Now, uh, there's...